Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legend difficulty. I'm slowly but surely getting the hang of the game and try to understand how it works. We have two teams. Things are working okay, I would say. I'm still trying to equip the primary team uh, with uh, the newest tech, which really costs a lot of resources the same time like build up all of the bases which yet again costs a lot of resources so the one thing that i noticed within this game is it's all about uh, resource management and getting the resources to do what you want uh, you could spend thousands of uh, the building material immediately but that is besides the point we are today going against the mist as uh, the mist propeller technology from uh, the serengo i think is what they were called now needs to be successfully uh, completed we're bringing the b team who now slowly but surely start to kind of get a respectable level and let's deploy the squad and see what's uh, going to be in for us Good, we landed five soldiers and a baggy, and we need to secure the area. Well, secure the area we can do. Don't too worry about that. Jim Haxer moves up. Receiving. We've already secured the high ground. And can already see the first enemy. Okay. I'll be right there. Move in. I'll be right there. Move in. Move in. And I think we want to move over here. Good. We shouldn't be spotted out yet, so... No poison worms should be shot. Oh, that thing can run quite far. Wow, okay. I think we should uh, go and take the high ground. I don't want to go too close because I know that we're going to be shot at. And that means way too much damage for my liking. Tyler gets up. We got to keep going. And we'll take the high ground. Good. I'll be right there. Melee Berserker should stand down here. And Natalia begins to move up. Second floor. Okay. On the move. Moving over here. Too far away in order to 
meaningfully make progress. Moving closer to the others. This guy is now alerted. Let's see now. Taking the frontline positions with our heavies. And next turn we're going, uh, we're starting to shoot. Gotta deal with poison worms, because uh, they mean our action economy is greatly reduced as long as they are alive. Acquiring targets. down quick shot and free aim fortunately a miss identifying target hostile down but before we're hitting these guys up all right yep yep very nice is he bleeding yeah for 40 yeah he's dead no point in wasting ammunition five by five Yeah, we're going to try hitting that thing and at the same time crowd controlling the big one was another enemy here preparing to fire nope yes nope Good, we're moving up. Overwatch. over here in my sights that's way too little chance to hit him I need to get closer Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, what? Ooh, he can he can traverse height. Interesting. I definitely was not aware of that. Keep it together, operative. 
That guy is still active. Can't believe that. Right there. Identifying target. Move to here. Trying to aim. <sighs> Feel a bit safer now. Uh, yeah, well, as well reload. Fantastic, that worked out well. Receiving. Okay, so you're telling me you can't unload now? Okay, because someone is blocking from the back. That totally and 100% makes sense. In brackets, not. <sighs> so no one during the game design thought that you might want to unload and that it would be annoying if you cannot because an alien like literally stands next to you. Okay. It's a bit of an odd position, isn't it? Like I can't unload my own soldier. This guy just runs away because he has no more weapon to attack. Good, this guy is going to die. This time I would like to get out. Thank you. Scratch one. One down. And we can deal with it in a second beforehand. I would like to use more rockets. Ready, sort of. Little green moves closer. Shoots three times, but hits. Let's go. Nothing. Prepare for three times. I just 
just need the right angle. Okay. Got Tyler. Tries to deal damage to this guy. That was some really, really good damage, and the guy will die due to bleeding. Okay, pretty bad. Right there, aiming. Let's go. Good. I think we've successfully defended uh, that side. Birdie is good. It just doesn't get any experience. The gun of the vehicle is just incredibly strong. Still not sure if it is worth three soldiers. Specifically because apparently I can't reload it. I'm glad you decided to help us. But I hope both the Phoenix Project and the Polyphonic Tendency can at least recognize that these attacks on the mist repellers aren't a coincidence. Somehow, the Pandora virus is defending its strategic interests. Tell me. Do you think we can really coexist with something like that? That's what Zara said too. Very well. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, five attitude. That's good. Tech, materials, food. Perfect. Sanhedrin is now supportive of the Phoenix Project. The location of Sanhedrin Havens have been added to the Geoscape. Defend them to earn reputation. Failure uh, to defend a haven under an attack will lose support. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, that's good. Sanhedrin seems to be like the smallest faction. Doesn't have a lot of havens. Maybe it's random in, in my game. It's just not a lot of factions. Uh, not a, a lot of Sinidran bases. Okay, so what did I want to do? Oh yeah, I remember. I had... That... Uh, that... Yeah, Bulldog. Uh, assault rifle and we wanted one. Oh, we already got eight so that's good I would also like this new sniper Good, so next two days are being filled with uh, just create, uh, just researching weapons. In the meantime, let's explore. At Fort Olympus, Dr. Najar is preparing to study for the effects of upcoming con uh, coronal mass ejection on the Pandorans. Unfortunately, Commander Kabir thinks uh, her research is nonsense and refuses to provide sufficient resources. We can help. Commander Kabir seems like the kind of person who holds a grudge. Okay, sure, let's help. New Jericho likes us and we got research. Okay, even better.
security for trading here we get a 2 for 12 that's good Approaching a burnt out husk of a new Jericho convoy, our operatives suddenly are startled by a, a shout from a rudimentary shelter dug under the burned vehicle. Emer emerges a battered new Jericho technician, waving his arms. Recruit him. We can always uh, need more people. And what I would say is, where do we put him? I think frozen circuit we wanted to build up we wanted to build up more personal so that's the technician class cool action points of medkits are reduced by one oh so now that is the support class i see how it is Take control of a turret or vehicle and shoot a target. Not sure how many turrets and vehicle weapons I've seen so far. That one is huge. Oh, I see. So he builds turrets. Cool. I like it. I hope that we can get a couple more technicians. Just wondering. None of the bases seem to indicate that there are resource available only a berserker here and in terms of recruits all we got is a sniper but yeah we could i mean we're building up that steady uh section of of recruits in this new base and effectively once the manticore is uh, there we have yet another team that can work up here Great. Uh, we do have a lot of food already. Two for twelve is good though. Let's do this and this and this. And then we can double check down here. Okay, Pandorian's high uh, threat level. That'll be an interesting mission. Yeah, might as well want to do that. Uh, how's the team looking? Tiamat's team is okay. Twenty-five bonus carry weight and two strength. For getting a second class, I think that that is in incredibly helpful because it allows him to carry that. Uh, what else? We have heavy weapons. 
We don't have all of uh, the equipment. Most of the stuff he's not uh, proficient with. But yeah, we could get extra ammunition. It's good. Having extra carry capacity is definitely good. Extra willpower would be fine as well. Easily something to skill into. Melee weapons and handguns. I think we got everything on Enders. Trigger finger is waiting for the second class. Natalia could have accuracy and... Oh yeah, bonus accuracy for a sniper is good. I like that a lot. I want to push up a little bit of the health as well. Same here, 200 is a sweet spot that I personally like. Good. I think we're waiting here to gain assault rifles. The willpower isn't bad either. With extra willpower, he could jump more often. It just has a deeper willpower pool. Willpower in general is something that I would need to skill more. It's so important to have all of those skill uh, skills. Um, but yeah, I mean... This game clearly has a very, very deep character development in terms of it takes a long time until your character is truly maxed out. But yeah, we'll we'll figure that out the next time, guys. Uh, for now, I wish you all the best. And if you are as excited as I am uh, that we have a second uh, base with a third team here, the Frozen Circuit uh, one, then give it a frozen thumbs up and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.